Hi everybody, thanks for checking out this video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss how you can go ahead and play PlayStation 4 games on your PC. The prerequisites are to have a PlayStation 4 already on your network, as this is not an emulator or anything of the such. You basically need to have a PlayStation 4 on the same network as your PC, or you need to have your firewall configured to let it go out over the net. So as you can see, here's Strider, and this is actually what's playing downstairs on my PlayStation 4. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of the game over here. And I'll show you how you can go ahead and get it set up and everything. So as you can see here, here's my PlayStation 4 with the uh, Final Fantasy 7 theme that's got the Final Fantasy 7 music. And I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller to control it as if I was directly on the PlayStation. Now, it seems a little slow right now, but that is only because of the fact that Camtasia is recording it. If I was not recording, it would be nice full speed. So if we hit escape, we can pop up the menu and then I can take it off of full screen. So you basically have windowed, you have windowed full, and then that will give you full screen. So I'm going to back out and we'll start from scratch. The first thing you need to do, if you Google PS4 remote play, you'll find links to it. But I will put a link in the video description. So as you can see here, these three up top are very, very important. This is the one that we're going to talk about, the one directly from PlayStation itself. But these deserve some honorable mentions. PS4 Remote Play, the second link, this is how you can play PlayStation 4 streaming on Sony Xperia products. Basically, this is what you can do on Xperia tabs and Xperia phones and everything like that. They even have a link that shows you which products will work. And it basically tells you, get a DualShock controller. Now, you're like, hey man, I have powerful Android tablets that are not Sony ones. Can't I do the same? Well, the answer is yes. You can do the same thing. And thanks, that is thanks to this XDA developer, Twisted89. He took the Sony APK and hacked it so that you can download it from here, this thread, and install it on other Android devices and stream your PlayStation 4 to it. Recommended ones would be things like the NVIDIA Shield, the NVIDIA Shield TV, the NVIDIA Shield Portable, the Acer Predator, and any of the, uh, the new really nice looking Samsung Galaxy tabs like the 4 and above are just beautiful graphics and they can handle this too. So, um, honestly, anything that works very well with the controller already, like the NVIDIA Shield products, is probably the best way to go. So he's got some instructions on how to set up a DualShock 4 and also any other controllers, like the NVIDIA Shield controllers and everything like that. And I've done this, and this does work. This is really cool. The one we want to take a look at is this one directly through PlayStation. This lets you download a Windows or Mac executable that you install, and then you can start doing it on your PC. You'll need the following to use the PS4 Remote Play. Computer, PS4 System, a DualShock, a USB cable, and your Sony account. Obviously, a good streaming router would also be good. Anything in the that's capable of doing 5 gigahertz should be good. But I honestly would focus more on any of the routers that you could use for like the NVIDIA GeForce experience. Uh, that Those streamings like Asus has some. Uh, Archer or TP-Link has got some. Asus has that Dark Knight which I think is considered really really good for it. So once it's installed you'll have this icon the PS4 Remote Play. And as you can see it's the official one. It checks for an update, and it always comes up to this where it says to connect it. Even if you have one connected already, it tells you to connect it. 
under settings, this is where you can do your PlayStation sign. And this tab is nothing. It's just basically the user agreement and some information. You can set the resolution and you can set the frame rate. If you set it to high, basically what will happen is that it tells you you can't do gameplay recording. So if you're sitting at your PC and you want to record a clip of uh, fighting a boss in Battleborn and put it up on the net or something, that's not going to be possible. You'll have to leave it at standard. Probably because it's saying it's just going to choke it out too much. So this is capable of waking the PS4 up from its uh, lighter sleep mode, the one where you basically just don't use it for a while and it hibernates. But if you've had like a power outage or something, it can't wake it up from that. So my PlayStation 4 is on my 2.4 gigahertz band of my router and my PC here is wired into the router. And there it is. Now you get the message gameplay recording is paused. That's because of the fact that I'm using the high bandwidth. And, you know, anything that is accessible on my PlayStation 4 is accessible to me right over here. So, if I wanted to play Bloodborne on my PC, which, as we know, there is not a PC version of that, I can do that. And I can just sit at my PC and do it. And as you can see here, you can get away, you can get around the gameplay recording if you are recording directly from your Windows PC. So if I wanted to record some Paragon footage and put it up on my YouTube channel or something, uh, I could do it this way. I'd be using something a little bit different than my Camtasia recorder because it does... Uh, slow down the frame rate considerably. I would probably record directly off my GeForce card. So, press any button. I don't know if Paragon's fully out yet. It may still only be available to the people that got invited to the beta. But, you know, if your computer's in a comfortable place or in an environment that you really like and you've got PS4 only, like, exclusives and you're like, man, I wish I could get this to my PC environment. Yep, now you can. So here you go. The, oh, yeah, early access and development. So this is still not live yet. But you may be able to get in if you get, like, a founder's pack oh looks like i have a card pack to open neat let's see what i have so if i wasn't recording this right now the frame it would be a little bit better as you can see it's not awful but it's probably not ideal especially for shooters or Something as frame-specific as, like, Bloodborne and Dark Souls and everything. And if I want to get out of the game, of course, I could just hit the PlayStation button. Here I am back to the menu. And that's it. So that's how you can play PlayStation 4 games on your PC. Again, to go over the requirements, just download the Windows or Mac app. Have a PlayStation 4 on the same network recommended as your PC. And get a PlayStation 4 controller. Either bring the one uh, from your PlayStation 4 to your PC. Or get a spare one and make sure you have a pretty good working USB cable for it. Also, if you mouse down to the bottom, you have access to the PlayStation 4 specific buttons and full screen. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video here on my channel. It's kind of both gaming and tech related, so it's going to be pretty much both a G4G and TTC video. See you, everybody.